On the news, we often hear many brain-related incidents, some of them successful rescue stories, some dramatic fatalities. When I checked againjurynews.org, I saw there were more than 200 reports listed. The most recent was uh, one from Fayette County in Illinois. In this incident, a farmer entered the grain bin. He was transferring corn from bean to a semi. He lost his footing inside the bin and fell into the corn. Unfortunately, he lost his life. Based on Purdue University's Agricultural Confined Space Database, there were 38 grain, grain entrapment cases in the U.S. in 2019. These incidents resulted in 15 fatalities. Hi, I am Serap Görücü. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about some preliminary results from our ongoing study on farmers' perceptions on grain bin entry hazards. Our purpose for this study was to examine farmers' perceived hazard concerns and safety practices associated with grain bin entry. We developed a survey study, both online and paper forms. Our focus area was Pennsylvania, New York, and Maryland, and our target number of participants were 32 from each state. The survey had total 28 questions on hazard concerns, safety practices, and production type and demographics. So far, we have collected 61 data, 38 from Pennsylvania farmers and 23 from New York farmers. Some of the survey data collection was also combined with a grain safety presentation by Penn State Ex Safety Extension Educator, Steve Brown, and our graduate student, Michael Dyer. Based on the preliminary results, grain engulfment and bean counting agar were listed the two major perceived hazards associated with grain bin entry. The other hazards were fall inside grain bin, hazardous gases, and air quality and dust. Participants indicated that they have entered on farm grain bin average 13 times in the last 12 months. 62% of the participants entered a grain bin alone without an observer, and most of had no emergency response plans. 69% of the survey participants had trainings about the danger of entering grain bins. We asked participants if they have concerns about getting injured or killed, and 70% of them they had concerns on getting injured and 59% stated they are concerned get, about getting killed. Another survey question was on describing training experience using some safety equipment listed here, like using respiratory protection equipment or rescue procedure. On average, 53% indicated they had little to no training experience using these safety equipment or procedures. We also asked participants to describe their familiarity with the safety equipment. Some of them, they indicated their familiarity with harness lock line system or grain rescue tube, but many of them, they had little to no familiarity with gas monitoring, or respirator, or anchor systems. Another survey question was determining farmers' perception on the value of the safety equipment for a safe grain entry. Nearly 80% of the survey participants acknowledged the value of using this safety equipment for safe grain entry. In conclusion, farmers indicated very high level of concerns on getting injured or killed when entering a grain bin. Yet the familiarity level with the safety equipment for a safe grain entry were too low. We all know the best way to be safe is not entering the grain bin. However, farmers need more trainings for safe entry practices if grain entry is necessary. This study is being supported by a funding from NIOSH X Center, Northeast Center for Occupational Health and Safety. We would like to thank them about their support. Also, we would like to thank Mr. Jim Caraba from NICAM for his support on data collection from New York farmers. Thank you.